Hey folks, it's David Bourne from NewWildMedia.com and in the web setup series, today's topic is WordPress pages and posts. If you have to update your site, you need to keep your content fresh. What do you do? Do you use a page or post? Well, that's what we're going to find out today. So here we go. Basically, there are two types of web pages in WordPress. And the reason they call one a page and one a post is that a post is a special kind of page. And the big benefit of this is that you get more control over your content. Because WordPress, the super mighty engine that it is, is going to be taking your content and putting it where you want it to go. So pages are going to do one thing and posts are going to do the other. All right, first of all, so what is a page? Basically, a page is used for something you want to be static. It's not going to change much. Uh, think of a menu, for example. So you will have pages that uh, are things that you'll have them for things that your audience is always going to want to see. So ask yourself, who is my ideal client and what do they want? What are they always going to be looking for? This is a critical concept to be thinking of over and over again as you build your website. That ideal client, you don't have to call them a client, you can call them your ideal customer, your ideal viewer, your ideal user, whatever suits you. But it's that personal customer profile for that person. What do they want to see? So they're, for WordPress pages, they're going to want to see things like menu items, okay? So for example, your contact page, your services page, your about page, those kinds of things. So what do you use post for? You use post for your regular updates. In other words, your news, your articles, your stories. Now, posts have a different home within WordPress. They have their own little section. For example, you can have your posts all show up in your blogging section, or you can have them show up in your update section, or in your news section. Whatever you want to call it, it really doesn't matter. WordPress was first created for bloggers, so usually it was a blog update, uh, and those posts usually showed up on the homepage. Well, you don't have to put them on the home page, although that's usually a pretty good place. You could put them in their own menu item if you wanted to, and we'll cover that later. So here's another way to look at whether you would be using a page or a post. So just ask yourself, how many pages do you think you will have on your web page, on your website? How many pages? So you got your about me, maybe your services, your contact, I'm going to guess five or six, but I'll say, I'll say definitely you're not going to have more than 10 in general. So, but how many posts do you think you might have? Well, it depends on how active you are, of course, but let's say that you do one update a week and in a year, that's 52 posts. That's 52 different ways that your ideal customer, your ideal client, that's the 52 different ways that they can find you. Even if you only did one a month, that would be 12 different ways that they could find you. 12 things that Google could index for you, which would be awesome. But 52 would be a whole lot better, wouldn't it? After three years, you'd have 156 posts out there on the internet. You're your audience could find you because you are using keywords and you're talking about things that they are searching for. So that's how you find more customers or find a bigger audience. So again, contrast to the, that to the number of pages you may have. Less than 10, probably five or six, definitely less than 10. And you can have as many posts as are appropriate for what you want to do. All right, hope that helped. Now let's go look and see how we actually do it within the browser. Here we go. All right, so I have logged into WordPress and I'm looking at the dashboard. Now, if your page looks a little bit different, 
you might want to come down here to this bottom button which collapses the menu for you and makes it a little bit bigger. It's nice to be able to see these words whenever you're first starting with WordPress. What I'll be doing is first making a page. I'm going to just come to pages and then add new. And by the way, you could have come up here to the new and clicked page to get the same thing. First thing we're going to do is add it uh, with a title. So I'm going to add Biz Projects. And this is where Biz Projects will go. I'm going to change that later. And a couple of things we can do here. Now, first of all, this just popped up and you could come in here and change it if you wanted to. So I named it Biz Proje Projects because I like the shorter name for a menu, but I actually want it to be Business Projects. So I hope I spelled that right. I never spell business right. And there we go, it did that. Now, what it did was uh, give me the preview of what the name of the page is going to be once I publish it. Now, by the way, if you're not seeing words in this section, in the yellow section, if you're seeing some funky looking characters, you must immediately go down to your settings and edit your permalinks because you do not want to have the funky um, characters in your post names. That's not good for search engine optimization, SEO, and it's just not good for human reading purposes. So I will talk about that in another video. Uh, for now, what I can do is a couple of things. I could either publish it right away or I could save a draft. So let me save that draft. And when you save the draft, uh, it'll give you the option to preview the page. So we'll go ahead and do that. I'll click preview and notice that it opens it up in another tab within the same window. Okay. And it's just a preview. So it's not the final version yet. If you want to turn it into the final version, you want to come over here to publish. And if you come back to your page, you'll say, well, nothing, nothing changed. What's up with that? It looks about the same. Well, if you hit refresh, now remember this was a preview, so I'm not sure if it's going to look right or not, but yes, in fact, it does. It's going to take you to the page that you created, and it's going to also, as you notice, it also automatically added it as a menu, whether you wanted it or not. I did want it to be a menu, uh, so that's good, but if you didn't want that, I will show you in another video how to change it. Um, but remember when I said one difference between pages and posts are pages make menus or submenus? Well, there's proof of that right there. All right, so posts. Let's go make a post. Now I'm going to go to the top here and go to post and click there. Remember, I could also come down here to post and do the same thing. Add new. So I'm going to add a new post. What am I going to say? I'm going to say this is just a test. Okay, a little bit of text. And again, we'll cover the basics. So this is just a test. You could come in here and edit that if you wanted. I could call it test number three and if I wanted to. And I could save the draft. I could preview it. Uh, view the post is going to be a preview at this point because it's not published. Okay, so um, I'm hoping that all makes sense. That's basically the difference between a page and a post up to this point. Although, watch this now if I click publish, okay, did it get it? I don't think it got it. There we go. Click publish. I'm going to flip over here to my earlier preview. Now remember we said pages and posts are different. Posts show up in a special place. And in this site 
that special place is the home page. Okay, so there it is. There is just a test. Okay, this is the post that I just created. So in a nutshell, that's the difference between pages and the posts. I hope that makes sense. And uh, if it doesn't, let me know and we will go into further detail.